anticipated bout. Let's set the table for you and get ready to dish up this big night of action. George Foreman's so alert right now. I mean, look at his focus as he makes that walk that so many fighters dread. But he makes that walk down to the ring just so very alert. Roy Jones Jr. is on his way to the ring. You can see it in his eyes. You just know he's got that feeling tonight. anticipated fight and we are underway with round number one you can't see they out they weaving and blocking out teddy in terms of a power punch we know the taller fighter is going to try to utilize the jab but in terms of a power punch what can he get that shorter fighter with the uppercut boy oh boy that can be like putting a cherry on top of an ice cream sundae because you know the shorter guy's leaning he's coming in he doesn't oh, see that up, punch so it's too late Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. You see the accuracy now with that double jab up top. See, that's some fine defense right there. I love that block by George Foreman. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Foreman's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Halfway through round number one. Nice block by George Foreman. Teddy, you buy a ticket to a George Foreman fight, clearly you want to see one thing. Yeah, you want to see a knockout, and you're going to see power. And you know you're going to see the ability to catch somebody on both ends. Because as dangerous as Foreman is, and as intimidating as he can be on the offensive end, he can be exploited that much on the defensive end. He leaves himself open. Good defense, just covering up down low. Big right hand for Roy Jones. Come on, get focused. Foreman's so dangerous with that accuracy, a two punch combination landing. Oh, we try to hit me with that other truck on my the land. Hit the body. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Yeah, I know you're going to see that brotherly love. You ain't going to hit me with that motherly love, man. I'm just like. Goes up top with the right hand. Last 10 seconds of this first round. A shooting right hand by George Foreman. He took a shot. Now he gives a left. Need to make punches. Throw more punches to the body. 
Dolphins out. Okay, you're doing fine. But listen to me. We gotta do a little more. We have to pull ahead of this round, okay? Here we go. Round two is underway. You hear me with that overcoat, bro? There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Keep that head moving. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent, and then a good counter by Roy Jones. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot. And then comes back with an uppercut. And yet another right hand lands. George Foreman blocks that punch. He got punched on the right. Finish with the hook! He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Nice block by Roy Jones. Huge right hand from George Foreman. You think back to George Foreman in his early days, and I think one of the visions that most fans remember is holding that tiny little American flag in the Mexico City Olympic Games in 1968 after claiming gold. You know, that's an interesting point because Foreman's not known as a guy with great personality. You know, he's a guy who's a disdainful looking guy. You know, he's a guy that kind of reminds you almost of a sunny list. He tries to intimidate you, he does intimidate you with his power, with his size, but at that moment, he showed that he has personality, that it's inside him. Big George Foreman unloads a left hand. Left to the body. Jones is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Needs to improve that accuracy, missed with the headshot. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. A little double jab to the head. Foreman's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Foreman dismisses that with a block. That is my favorite punch there is. A forceful uppercut by George Foreman. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Jones is going with a very efficient work rate in that last round. He shows his spots carefully. He's working. Yeah, that's what I like to see. And that's what the judges are supposed to be looking for. You know, not just be overtaken by a guy just going out there like a mad hatter and just throwing punches, but placing the punches, strategically putting them in the right spots. Good job. And round number three is underway. Jones' jab continues to carry the day. He's wanted it, he's got it. Good work there with the three punches in sequence by Roy Jones. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Foreman crushes home a left. 